Oh, dude. Do I have him? I can't catch up. What's going on guys? Finally made it to the back of the pond here. Ended up talking to two gentlemen at the boat launch. He lost his whopper plopper on a tree. I went out there and got myself two nice free lures. I said, thank you, sir. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this. Oh. All right. Well, I, this is about 20 years old. We're gonna go ahead and throw this big uh, jitterbug. One of the hooks just fell off the side. Look at that. Uh, we're gonna see who slurps it up. Go figure. Hey, how you guys doing? Hook, fa hook falls out. <laughs> I just gotta screw it in and screw and glue it back in. We'll check it out. Yeah, this is a musky lure. Crazy amounts of top water back here. Let me flip this. Let me flip this popper once. Get something going for us. Yeah, I gotta change this to some braid. Nice fish, guys. Nice fish. Nice fish. Oh, come on. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Come on. Nice fish. Nice fish. Come on. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Get the net ready. I gotta, get I gotta be ready. Oh, no. She's digging on me. Did I get her? We got her. We got her. Let's go. Ah, oh, oh, she's not as nice as we thought, but man, that was awesome. Ah, oh, it's nice though. Nice fish. Way to start the morning. Nice top water explosion. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's get that in the sun. Good deal. Woohoo! Man, clobbered it. I mean, absolutely smoked it. Look at that. Dragonfly just landed. Right on me. I hope you guys can see that. That Texas rig's gonna be where it's at. I already know I'd be pulling fish out right now. Like that one? <laughs> Stay down. Oh, 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 he was nice. Man. Need to change this setup back to my casting setup. That might have helped me. But ah, I just needed to keep that fish's head down and he had other plans. No, no, stay on. Yes, let's go. Oh, that was up. Whoa, guys, wait till you see this. 
Somebody tried to eat my man's fin off or something. Don't, whoa, look at this guy. Whoa, look, somebody tried to like eat his gill and, oh man, you need some sunblock. Pretty fish, he's nice, he's, he's three pounds, oh yeah. Good deal, absolutely hammered that, I, I'm telling you guys. They're, they're, whoa, leaving no stone unturned. I mean, wow, absolutely blasting. All right, let's get back at them. Man, that was a nice fish. Yeah, so I, I've, I've heard a couple different things about those black spots on the fish. A lot of, some people say it's uh, from the sun, some people say, another one let's go some people say oh, he's not as big come on get in here some people say it's from the sun some people say it's from chemicals in the pond it's from stress from spawning if any of you guys know out there let me know in the comments below i'd love to get an actual answer on it i've just never done the research there we go yeah it's nice so of course I don't have the camera on. I just make a random cast with the frog over out into the pads. Pull this slob up out of there. It's probably three, almost three and a half. Super nice looking fish. See if we can get on the other side. Oh, holding it sideways. <laughs> oh yeah. Big fish. Big fish. Oh, it's a pickerel. Come on, mate. Man, he wanted that so bad. Come on, don't cut me off. Oh. It's probably what the last two things that hit me were too. Not bad. All right, and he unhooked himself. Oh. Jammed it. Big fish. Oh yeah, big fish. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a bass or a pickerel. Be a bass, be a bass, be a bass, be a bass, be a bass. Get the net ready, come on, be a bass. Be a bass, be a bass. Come on. Oh my God, he's got me down, dug into the weeds. Come on, be a bass. Be a bass, be a bass, be a bass. It's a bass, it's a bass. Oh my God, guys, I don't know how big it is. It's covered in weeds. Oh. Oh, it's a slob. Oh, it's a slob. Oh, let's go, that's four. She's going four, got two. Look at that, watch that, ready? Boop. Oh yeah. I knew it. I knew that was going to be the ticket. Just with the the way the day started going and moving and oh yeah, look at her. She's been eating too. That's awesome. Let's go. All right. Let's get back out there. Man, what a day. Whoo.
Oh, dude. Do I have him? I can't catch up. Oh, not, I mean, knocked slack in my line. Like, oh, what? I mean, knocked, oh, what? You wanna, dude. I mean, knocked like three feet of slack in my line. I couldn't catch up to that. Oh, no way. That's crazy. I haven't been hit like that today. That was cool. I was just bouncing off of a weed. Oh. Uh, he must have hit it from behind and ran forward at me. Because that, that lure was absolutely smoked. Now this wind wants to blow. Oh. It must have been a pit, maybe a pickerel or he just he just missed it. Got him that time though. Did you guys see that? I mean, dude, talk about knocking slack in my line. This is a big fish, guys. I mean, dude, this is a big fish. It's a pit. <gasps> guys, 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 this is my biggest pit. No, no way, no way. Come on. Oh, let's go. What? Dude, it broke the blade. Thank God I have another one of these. I just need to replace the blade. No way. It hit my bait so hard that it knocked the blade off of my spinner bait. This is brand new, never used. Oh, here we go. He's going to hurt me. Oh, my. No, 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 no. This thing is a tank. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go. Guys, that is awesome. That is a nice pickerel. Oh yeah. Let's go, let's get her back. Come on baby, go ahead. Let's see who else is sitting out there. Man, I can't get over how much slack he knocked in my line. That must have been him uh, the first time too because I cast out pretty much in the same spot and he hit it the, the same exact way. Forgot to hold my finger on the spool there. That was almost a catastrophe. I was just, I was just watching it, just waiting for it to ball up. Stay down, stay down. 
Oh, it's another big pickerel. Man. Oh, I guess they're sitting out in the sun. Oh man, he's putting it on me. Got that 17 pound line though. I got my drag tight. He ain't going anywhere. Come on in here. He's nice too though. In the top of the mouth. Perfect. Yeah, look at that. Another nice one. Get that hook. Look at that teeth and teeth, man. Let's get that hook out. I'm just gonna let it go. There you go. Whew. Smoked it again. Man, I'll tell you what, I'm having a good time with those today because I'm not losing anything. Oh, oh, let's go. Come on, be a bass, be a bass. Man, hit it at the end of the cast, so. No, 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 no. Oh, guys. Guys. Come on, stay pinned, stay pinned, stay pinned, stay pinned. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Oh, let's go. Yo, let's, that's, oh, that's a turn. Yeah. All right, so it's not as big as I thought it was. She's only going like four or so maybe. But, oh, beautiful, beautiful fish. Another three and a half, almost four. Wow, love it. Get back in there, baby. Love it. Let's go. Man, guys, the color of that fish, and I don't know, maybe it was the weeds on it when I saw it, but it just looked so much bigger than the other ones. The mouth on it was huge. I mean, I thought it was five. She probably was, was almost four all day or, or just at it or just over it, but no, I thought it was five. Oh. You guys might see me pass out, fall out of the boat if I ever hook into an eight pounder. All right, guys. I think we're about done. Ended here. So I'm coming back tomorrow with my buddy Austin. And uh, we're going to get on some then, too. So it's been real. Remember, I'm Mike G, and this is Largemouth Blast, and we'll see you.